Shalom. First and foremost, I want to begin by giving all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rakakwadash. Double honors to all the apostles and elders, great millstone, who we learn this truth from. I want to say Shalom to the hopefully lit. And today, I just got this article right here just going into the evils and only evils that Yahweh Bahashim Al Shai is finna uh, bring upon America, man. You see? Hey, and that's how we know we're in the end times. Uh, second age is 9 and 1. Measuring the time diligently. Matter of fact. This second age is 9 and 1. He answered. Matter of fact. So like, we get verse 8. This second age is 8 and 61. And therefore is my judgment now at hand. See, uh, Jacob's trouble. Uh, martial law, great famines, pestilence, earthquakes, evils, and only evils is now at hand, man. Hey, we see how wicked America is, and it's only getting worse and worse, man. It's only, hey, it's a, only a matter of time before you have a shower returns, man. We see that this place is ready for the taking. You see? Just when you think you can't get no wicked, hey, it's something new every day, man. You see? That's why it says, and therefore is my judgment now at hand. These things have I not showed unto all men, but unto thee, and a few like thee. You see, unto the elect, man. The election have obtained it, and the rest were blinded. Then answered I and said, Behold, O Lord, now hast thou showed me the multitude of the of the wonders which thou wilt begin to do in the last times, but at what time thou hast not showed me. See, he said, you showed them the um, the evils, you know, that's going to come in the last days. This is um, 2nd Edge 8 and 50. For many great miseries shall be done to them that in the latter time shall dwell in the world because they have walked in great pride. It said, many great miseries. I just had a thousand people. You see, Bangladesh, worse dengue outbreak has now killed more than a thousand people. And the Lord's going to send even even greater pestilence over here in America, man. You see? There's going to be many family members. You see, there's a thousand family members right there mourning. And you could times that by two because, hey, you could times that by, you know, how many ever? Because people have big families, man. Cousins, uncles, auntie mourning for those people who just died, man. It's going to go, it's going to be great uh, mourning over here in America, man. These just examples, Lord. And Lord, he be using these heathen as punching bags to show you niggas, man, what he gonna do to you. Killed 50,000 over there in an earthquake earlier this year in Syria and Turkey. Turn around, just killed another 20 from an earthquake and flood. Killed a thousand right here from a pestilence. You see? No telling how many people done died from the famine. You see uproars in these different countries. Hundreds getting put down. Hundreds of women being ravished. Hey, it's going to multiply when it hit over here in America, man. You see? I ain't even going to read into the article. The title is said enough. It, well, it says, since January, 1,017 people have died from the mosquito-borne disease, including more than 100 children and infections rising over 208,000, according to figures from Bangladesh, Dictator General of Health Service released Monday. So, you say 100 children have died out of those uh, 1017. Then they say 208,000 infected. You see? And they've been talking about how the mosquitoes, uh, uh, the mosquitoes over here in America carrying diseases as well, getting people sick and dying, man. Just wait till it, 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 it really unfolds, man. BG got some mosquitoes for you niggas. You see? And we can't wait till the Lord bring his judgment. And that's how we know we're getting close to the end, man. And the Lord, he finna fuck two-thirds of our people up. And, and Lord willing, we're of the elect. Because the Lord, man, you see what he doing, man. He's showing you by the way of these heathen. You see? Matter of fact. Yo, this is Isaiah 40 and verse 15. It says, Behold... The nations are as a drop of a bucket and are counted as the small dust of the balance. Behold, he taketh up the isles as a very little thing. 
And that's how the Lord look at the nation. Like, he just a drop of a bucket, man. And the Lord, he's killing thousands of them upon thousands. And he telling you, Jake, hey, that Daniel 12, 1, this is going to be a worse time than ever before. They say greater evils than those which thou hast seen. And he's showing you when he unleashing his wrath upon these heathens, man. You see? And, 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 and maybe how about Shema Shah keep uh, jacking these heathens up, sending the floods over there on these damn gooks and shit, man. These earthquakes all over there. At, uh, them, um, damn Arabs and Elam, Hamites. You see, because these niggas, hey, they, they ride along with Esau for Nile afflictions, man. It says. Yep, second edge of six and fifty six. As for the other people going into these heathen nations, which also come of Adam, thou hast said that they are nothing, but be like unto spittle. You see that how the Lord look at these heathens, man. And he look at the nation of Israel as, as precious, man. And you you turn your back on them. So he look at you, hey, it's like this as well, man. Because he gonna he gonna hey, he gonna jack two thirds of you niggas up, man. And has likened the abundance of them unto a drop that follow from the vessel. You see, and, and that's how the Lord look at these heathens, man. But all these different pestness and plays that the Lord is bringing out, it's just to show you, hey, the times we're in, man. It's getting closer and closer, man. Until Jacob's trouble, and he really, a hey, uh, unfold the um those spirits created for vengeance over here in America, man. We and we see it. You got people over here uh, killing children. You had a lady uh, poison children with fentanyl because she was mad at a man. You see? It's going to be greater evils than those. Uh, second Edges 9, verse 1. He answered me then and said, Measure thou the time diligently in itself, and when thou seest part of the signs past, which I have told thee before, and the Lord gave many signs, uh, Matthew 24. Uh, pestilence, earthquakes in diverse places. You see all these false prophets, wars, rumors of wars. He said in the end they're going to be perilous times. You see, evils and only evils. We see all these things taking place. Uh, he just killed those thousand people over there in um, Bangladesh by pestilence. You see, then shall thou understand that it is the very same time wherein the highest will begin to visit the world which he made. Therefore, when there shall be seen up earthquakes and uproars of the people in the world, then shalt thou well understand that the Most High spake of these things from the days that were before thee, even from the beginning. You see, so hey, the Lord He been had these um these prophecies uh since before time, just waiting to be fulfilled, man. And now we're in a time where He finna unleash all hell upon the face of the earth, man. Daniel chapter 12 and verse 1 and it says and at that time shall Michael stand up Michael the archangel the great prince which standeth for the children of thy people which he's only going to stand for the elect in this time man the two thirds got to go Zechariah 13 and 8 and there shall be a time of trouble such as never was since there was a nation even to that same time it says it's going to be a time such as never and you see he just killed a thousand people with the mosquito virus uh twenty thousand with an earthquake uh, and a flood you no know, think of flood you've been doing so much judge you can't even keep up with it fifty thousand with an earthquake you see he had all these train derailments it's going to be way worse than all of those things man and at that time that people shall be delivered the elect, everyone that shall be found written in the book. So only the elect is going to be delivered out of the troubles. Hey, this up ahead, man. Hey, the Lord got miracles that He has set for uh, to do for the elect, man. That's why we praying and hoping to be part of the elect, man, to be able to be kept from all these evils and only evils that Yahweh by Hashem Shah has set for this place, man. All the great pestilence, rape, rob, and murdering that He finna unleash. In the streets of America, man. 
You see? Close it out right here. Isaiah 66 and verse. I'm tripping. So like. Isaiah 55 and verse 6. Yep, this is Isaiah 55 and verse 6. And this is the message, man. Hey, repent. Hey, and return to your Yahweh by the Shai and put off your evil ways, man. Hey, because uh, he said his judgment is now at hand. It's Isaiah 55 and verse 6. Seek ye Yahweh while he may be found. Call ye upon him while he is near. And now is the time where he can be found and where he is near. While he still had the apostles and elders, a great millstone, and the brother known down in the ranking who teach under the order of the apostles of great millstone. Out on the highways and byways, still putting up lessons. Now is the time to be seeking the Lord, asking questions. You see, trying to put off that old man. You see, before a Amos 8 and 11 happened, a famine of the word. Let the wicked forsake his way and the unrighteous man his thoughts and let him return unto the Lord and he will have mercy upon him and to our God for he will abundantly pardon. See, so the Lord say, hey, you forsake your wicked ways and your unrighteous thoughts and return unto him. He gonna have mercy upon you, man. And great and abundantly pardon. And that's what we're looking for, to have our sins blotted out so when Yahweh shall return, we be beamed up on the chairs and be delivered out of America, man. And be a part of that precious elect, man. So, hey, Lord willing, this video was edifying to you, brothers and sisters. I'm going to end it off by giving all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Kakudash, Yahweh, that's the name of the Heavenly Father. And Yahweh Shah is the name of His only begotten Son, who the world know as Jesus Christ, in the name of the Holy Spirit. And I want to give double honors to all the apostles and elders of the Great Millstone who we learned this truth from. Shalom to the hopefully lit.